Okay, I can tell this is a good speech. I can also tell when I'm an evaluator and I really want to listen to the content of the speech, yet I have to focus on being an evaluator. It's, it's hard sometimes when I want to know. I want to hear the information. No, I have the right job and stuff. So I could tell I was good because I really wanted to hear the information. And you know, you, you make this look so easy. I mean, it's a 25 minute speech, and you're up here, you're casually talking to us, you're not lecturing us, and it's just, it, it was just so easy to convey this information that I really felt into your speech. You have such, I, I've known you for years now, and I just love your, your speaking style like that. And you know the information very well. You know, bam, 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 because you've done this for several years, and you know the information just you know, off the tip of your tongue. So it's very easy for you to move around in the speech. However, you did have organization, and it was on your handout. Actually, the first page is the organization of your speech. However, I felt that in the actual speech, in the first part, I wasn't exactly sure about the organization in the first half. When you got to the second half, then, oh, I don't know, track it along, you know, how a meeting is, is organized. But the first half, I kind of felt like, well, this is interesting, but how are these things chunked together? And so I think it's very important for a 25-minute speech. A five, seven-minute speech, usually your outline is, you know, maybe two or three deep. In this one, it's probably deeper in the outline. So you need bigger blocks. Uh, one thing in this is how effectively did the speaker relay new information and common experiences to the Well, we're all Toastmasters here. In youth leadership, the, or, the meeting is like a Toastmasters thing. So you made it very... the youth leadership accessible to us because we're all familiar with Toastmasters and you're able to relate our Toastmasters experience to a youth leadership experience. One thing I think could have been more effective, one thing I think that worked really well in the second half, later in the speech, was to use a lot of little anecdotes. You know, like the, the student with the, the card and stuff and the, the notes. And I, I'd like more of that in the beginning of the speech. Because I really like that in the second half of the speech, and it also it breaks up, you know, just straight facts as well too to make a story in there. Now your opening, I think your opening could have been stronger, especially for a longer speech, because it seemed like you dove into information pretty quickly. I think you could have had a stronger opening with maybe an anecdote or or, or a joke. Or something a little more substantial, maybe a little more in the beginning, on how you're, you know, like how um, Carlos said for his round robin, how are you going to proceed? How are you going to entertain us for 25 minutes? I think we need to know. <laughs> well, we're putting in this investment here. What's happening? And I believe that's all I have to say. So, in my the red is trying to work on me, so I'll <laughs> conclude my transaction. Thank you.